I'm starting right now. So we can get... Hey there, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Lost Odyssey. In the last video, I, uh... I explained what skills you should have equipped to each character. As well as a good party combination. In case you guys were wondering. Um or we're unsure because now that we have all the characters in the game you're probably wondering what characters you should use so in short we're using our four immortals uh, Kaim, Seth, Sarah, and Ming and then your choice of what mortal you want to use I prefer Sed because he's got good HP and his rifle ignores uh, defense also he's got great skills and the double item trick which is awesome if you're using items so yeah go ahead and uh, check my last video in case you guys are unsure of what skills to put on each character and when you're done we're gonna be leaving the Nomura at all now that we have learned all possible skills up to this point in the game as well as obtained all the accessories that we can get at this point and learn the skills off of. So exit back to the world map and uh, choose the great, eight, the great ancient ruins because we have some unfinished business we need to go back and finish. So once you're back in the, the Great Ancient Ruins, the first thing I want to tell you guys is if you found the Trookie Talisman inside the ruins, you're going to want to get into a battle and let the Trookie steal it off you. So just check your uh, valuables in the items menu and make sure that they have stolen the Trookie Talisman. So... Once the Trookies steal the key item Trookie Talisman for you, you can now face their leader, which is somewhere inside the ruins. But unlike the, the previous battle with the Elmans, you can't fight their leader unless they have stol stolen that key item from you. Out of my way! So if you've never seen a Trookie, this is what they look like. They look just like the Elmans, the little rat looking creatures. And uh, yeah, the most popular place to find these guys is at the entrance uh, before you even go inside the ruins. Maybe next time. So if you're having trouble finding Trookies, the best place to fight them is at the entrance before you even go inside the ruins. So just keep running back and forth and eventually you'll get into a fight with a Trookie. And allow them to steal the Trookie Talisman. So that means all you gotta do is defend, defend, defend until they steal from you. Now unlike the Elmans, they will not steal the Trookie Talisman right away. It takes, it took me a few times, I think they stole like seven or eight different items before they actually took it. So, uh, yeah, if they don't steal it right away, don't panic. They will steal it eventually, just keep fighting. It took me like ten minutes for them to steal it, just running around the entrance area to the ruins. But once they do steal it, then you're good to go. So again, that's the Trookie Talisman key item need to let the Trookie steal that off you before you can fight their leader. The Trookie Queen. And the next thing, I don't know if you guys did this earlier, but there are random enemies inside the ruins called Money. Now these guys, Money, uh, they will... They will steal money from you. And you want them to steal your money at least one time for a side quest that's gonna happen later so the money guys whenever you get into a fight with them they look like little dolls kinda just make sure that they steal money from you at least once before you leave the ruins 
and it's kind of tricky to get them to steal money from you in case you guys don't know it's not like the elements they just don't come right out and start stealing from you what you have to do is damage them you have to hit them with a physical attack but don't kill them just damage them and once they have been damaged they will use a uh, attack called steal to heal and then they'll steal your gold so they won't just don't just go into a battle with them and keep defending hoping that they'll steal from you that doesn't work you have to hit them and damage them and once they are hurt they will use a attack called steal to heal so just let the uh, money steal once from you and once they've stolen from you you're good to go so go ahead and enter back into the astral square head east and then north and get onto the first elevator to the west go ahead and ride that up and then head north oh come on give me a break Now a thing you guys should take note of is the route to the Trookie Queen which is deep inside the ruins isn't going to be the exact same way as you went last time because the transportation system is a little bit, um, well it's not messed up anymore, it's the actual right way to go. So you're going to want to board the second elevator at the north end of the upper level, then head south climb the stairs to the west and follow the path until you can board the elevator at the far west end of the room right next to the chest that you guys opened earlier and then once you're at the first uh, green symbol on the ground head north and board the elevator to be taking outside the ruins on the roof not really the roof but it's uh it's called the hanging corridor area of the great ancient ruins so what you, once you're here go ahead and follow the path to the east and then head south and ride the elevator down There's a refresh point to the east in case you guys need that. And follow the path south and then west. And board the elevator to be taken up. And enter the double doors. And this will take you back to the lunar palace area of the ruins. which is right where we need to be from here take the west side and ride the elevator on the west side of the room to be taken farther north and then head east and then south and descend the stairs and then head west and ride the elevator platform down lower now from here you're going to want to head east and descend the stairs and then farther east and jump on the elevator to be taken farther south or farther down into the ruins 
Now if you position the use the right stick to position the camera angle, you'll see the tail of the Tricky Queen in the one of the back rooms on the ground level of the ruins. That's where we're heading. So head south and board the uh, elevator to be taken down further. Then head north and descend the stairs to the west. No one gets in my way. Send more stairs all the way down to the bottom. Now, once you're at the bottom, you'll get a full view of the Trookie Queen. You're going to want to heal up because this is a boss fight. And she is no joke, especially depending on how many items they've stolen from you. Their attack, called Item Blast, does damage based on the amount of items they have stolen from you so for me they've stolen like seven or eight items so their attack is going to be doing massive damage hopefully I can get through this but when you're ready go ahead and head north and talk to the Trookie Queen or Queen Trookie And you're going to have to talk to her twice. After talking to her twice, you will be thrusted into a battle with the uh, Queen Trookie and four of her Trookie servants. So, uh, you're going to want to take out the four Trookies in the front row in order to get at the Queen that's in the back because of their guard conditioning. Take them out as fast as possible. And they will cause status effects with each attack. The status effects are different with each trophy. Watch out for is item blast. Depending on how many items they've stolen from you, it will decide the amount of damage that is dealt. And if you look at her item, she's carrying the sorcerer's bracelet, which is a rare accessory. So if you want, you can steal it, or it'll just be dropped after the battle. Her element is fire, so use Aquara to exploit her weakness.
This should take her out. And there she goes. Not really a hard battle, but we took her out with ease because of our level. And beating her will give you 10 SP, 2,200 gold. A thief's charm and the accessory that we've been waiting for, sorcerer's bracelet. And by beating her, your stolen items will be recovered. So you get all of your stuff back. And the first thing we're going to want to do is get that sorcerer's bracelet onto one of your immortals. They're going to have to take turns learning it individually. Now that the uh, Chucky Queen has been defeated, go ahead and heal your characters up now go ahead and head west and then south to reach the second green symbol and exit through the west double doors there's one more thing we got to take care of in this area before we can leave At the throne of the sun, go ahead and ride the elevator up. And at the center of the throne at, of the sun, as long as you have the treasure hunt information, there will be a glowing orange dot, which marks the treasure location. So go ahead and head to the center of the area and press A to examine to get the Lucent Dragon Discus and the Lucent Dragon Ring. Very awesome uh, weapon and ring for Mac. Go ahead and equip that as soon as possible. And the description reads an ancient battle discus with the magic of three light dragons. The weapon attack power is 140 which brings Mac's attack up by 47. And the Lucent Dragon Ring is HP Absorb level 2, MP Absorb level 2, and Critical Up level 2. A very awesome ring, but unfortunately I have no use for it right now. Unless you want to put it on a certain character. But with the treasure looted, go ahead and ride the elevator back down and we gotta exit these godforsaken ruins. Okay, so go ahead and head north and retrace your steps out of here. You can talk to the Turkey Queen if you want to see what she says. Alright. 
Nothing special. So go ahead and head back up the steps. And head to the south to ride the elevator back up. And then to the north, ride the next elevator up. head north and west up the steps then west down the steps if it's a fight you want you got it and here's a battle with money so make sure they steal gold from you at least once because on the next episode we're going to be doing a side quest that involves them stealing your gold. Maybe next time. But luckily we already did that in the first visit to the ancient ruins so we don't have to do that anymore. But wrap around the pillar and ride the next elevator up. Then head east. North west Ooh, I think I'm gonna like this south and get on the platform to be taken further south and then continue south and then east and exit through the double doors we're now back at the hanging corridor Go ahead and board the elevator to be taken down and retrace your steps back east, north, and there is a refresh point if you need it. And then board the elevator to the west to be taken up where you can head west and cross the narrow bridge. And ride the platform all the way to the west back down to the astral square of the great ancient ruins all right so back here go ahead and head north or uh, yeah north and then east oh not north we're gonna head south And then east and board the elevator to be taken down. If it's a fight you want, you got it. Continue heading north and then east and down the steps. Keep your guard up. I wish they would have gave us uh, 
transportation device that will take us straight back to the entrance. We gotta run through these uh, ruins twice, man. This takes forever. Continue north and uh, head down the steps and then to the east and board the elevator to be taken to the floor above where we can head west or east and then south and board the elevator to be taken down. Almost out of here. On the lower fo floor, head south and then uh, west and exit the ruins to the south back at the entrance head down the steps and then east and board the elevator Head down the second, head to the second platform to be taken south to the area with the chest that we already opened. And then board the next elevator to be taken to the very beginning entrance of the ruins. So, with that out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and save at the save point. And that's going to conclude this episode of Let's Play Lost Odyssey. So in that episode, we basically uh, found the Chucky Queen and beat her to recover our stolen items. And get the Sorcerer's um, Earrings. Or the Sorcerer's Bracelet, which is max uh, MP up 3. And we also found the treasure hunt inside of the great ancient ruins at the throne of the sun area which was the lucent dragon discus for mac and the lucent dragon ring so with that out of the way in the next episode we are going to be heading to Ter terrace cave where we are going to, going to be doing a side quest that involved uh, the money enemy in this area stealing money from us we're gonna have to go and get that back so if you guys haven't it's very important to have that money guys steal money at least once from you and remember he won't just steal it you have to injure him first in order for him to steal from you so with that out of the way that's gonna conclude this episode of let's play lost odyssey and I'll see you guys next time where we go money hunting in Paris Cave.